Hello folks and welcome to another video. So in this video you join us on a visit to Thomas Hardy's cottage. So folks, Thomas Hardy's cottage is in a small village uh, near Dorchester uh, called Hoyer Brockenhurst. So uh, we're having a little uh, day trip to uh, Thomas Hardy's cottage. It's going to be a photographic uh, trip and uh, maybe some videoing uh, later. So uh, I think if you're ready, uh, we're going to uh, head off and have a look around the cottage. Oh, by the way, it is a National Trust property, so uh, we can uh, get in with our membership. Anyway, guys, we'll catch you uh, at Thomas Hardy's cottage. So, guys, just a word of warning, although... Uh, Thomas Hardy's Cottage is National Trust, so you can actually visit Thomas Hardy's Cottage for free. You actually got to pay for parking, so it reads your registration as you come in, guys, and then you have to pay when you leave. So uh, just bear that in mind, guys. We were under the impression that you, uh, the parking was included, but uh, no. So uh, that's uh, just a little bit of a, a word of warning, guys. So, folks, we visited the cafe and had uh, a cup of coffee, but uh, we broke with tradition and had a bacon sandwich each. And they were rather lovely, yeah, weren't they? Very, very nice, very yeah. Nice. Good quality it's bacon. Great, yeah, really nice. Anyway, we're just uh, coming up to the cottage, guys. So, uh, photography uh, will be done on the Nikon D300. And we might do a little bit of videography uh, as well over here. But for the minute, it's uh, photography. So, uh, I'm going to uh, start video and do, do a bit of photography. So, uh, Catch you shortly.
So we'll have a brief walk around the garden and uh, take a better look at the outside of the cottage. So uh, I'm not going to do too much rabbiting on this one, we'll just uh, enjoy this beautiful scenery. Just been round the house, had a guided tour around the house. That was quite interesting. I know all about uh, Thomas Hardy's up until the age, what was it, 34, wasn't it? Uh, yes. He sort of lived here up until about the age of 34 before he moved to, was it, Max Gate, which was in Dorchester, but that'd be uh, uh, another visit uh, for another video. So we're just going to have a bit of a walk around the garden, so you show, there, show you guys the garden before we head back maybe for a cup of tea and a cake this time, I don't know. They did carrot cake in that cafe. Oh well, yeah, apparently they did carrot cake in the cafe. Got quite dull at the minute, there's a big huge mole hill there. So I'm just going to have a quick walk around uh, the sort of garden. There's another tour going on, so you're going to have to uh, excuse the people uh, there and a uh, bit of a tour going on, guys. So there we are guys, that's Thomas Hardy's cottage. Definitely worth a visit if you're in this area. As I said, National Trust, but you have to pay to park. But it's only worth, I think it was about a pound an hour. Uh, number plate recognition, so it's, you know, we should be a four hour or so, probably that's what we're paying. Now we're going to head back towards the the car but I think we're gonna go up through the wooded area which is up there guys so I'll we'll bring you back when we're heading up that way but uh, for now Thomas Hardy's cottage what an absolutely beautiful place Can you imagine living in there guys who win the lottery or by that the window worth yeah. in the window I don't know if you can see the window with the um vowels in there uh that sort of middle window but that's where Thomas Hardy was actually born so there you go guys, Thomas Hardy's cottage. The wide angle lens on the GoPro probably won't do it justice, but uh, look at that beautiful view for there. So that is the Thomas, oh, Thomas Hardy's cottage. And we're gonna head back up this way. We think this is the way to go back to the car park. Yeah, there's a walkway there, people come in. So we're gonna head back this way guys. Right, I'm gonna just show you this little bit of this beautiful walkway so this is uh so the tour guys said this is an ancient woodland been here for years so uh, we're going to head back towards the car and uh maybe have a, ooh, have a cream cake talking of cream cakes it was pointed out to me just now by karen it's a squirrel. that uh a squirrel. Oh yeah, a squirrel at the base of the tree. But uh, I put my camera bag around my uh, on, the, on my back, my backpack, and uh, camera bags or back camera backpacks have a uh, I don't know what you call it, a belly waist strap. Waist strap. So uh, guess what? <laughs> I can't do mine up. It ain't long enough. So I think the strap shrunk. Yeah. Well, I didn't wash it. So it didn't shrink in the wash. What are you saying? My belly's got bigger than it. Could be too many chocolate buttons, that's what Karen said. But I don't think so, it's nothing to do with chocolate buttons. I think the bag, uh, the strap on the bag shrunk when it rained. <laughs> <laughs> that was hard work coming out there. Anyway guys, look at this beautiful woodland, it's absolutely stunning. I packed my camera away simply because of uh, carrying it, but uh, I forgot the name of this wood. It's, it's a... Don't know. What's the name of the wood? I can't remember. We'll have to let them know if we'll put it in when we're back. Uh... It's beautiful. It's ancient wood site. Yeah, it's ancient woodland. Yeah. But this was here in Thomas Hardy's time. Well, no, actually, no, it wasn't. This was, over there was Heath. Ah, uh, right, yeah. So behind the cottage, which would be oh. over that way, it was Heathland, which is now the woodland. 
They had their own orchard. They? they had their own orchard, which we walked through. But uh, anyway, look at this, absolutely beautiful. Did try and rain a little bit, but uh, right at uh, Aldehoff. So we're just going to enjoy this absolutely stunning, beautiful area. So we're going off a little bit of the track here at the moment because I just uh, wanted to have a look at this falling down tree. Now, talking of falling down. Oh no. On the way yesterday, no. Yeah, it was, yes, what's today? No, Tuesday, Sunday. Sunday. Tuesday, oh, square a lot over there. See you guys? Is that oh, at the base hey. of that tree? So. When we were going for a, on our way for a meal on Sunday, we were walking out the caravan site and Karen did an absolute gutser, which basically in our terms means she fell over. To be fair, she grazed her knee, shook herself up and all that. But the strange bit is, we were on the way to the pub not on the way back so now you've got to be very careful because when Karen goes out she she either swallows flies or she falls over and on the end of that uh, down there there's a squirrel sat there see the squirrel down on the end there oh, you can see him guys probably Look at this gnarly old tree. So, hopefully Karen's not going to fall over today. But the strange thing is, she fell over on the way to the pub, not on the way back. Look at this. It's almost like a seat there. So guys, that uh, I think concludes our visit to Thomas Hardy's cottage. Definitely uh, encourage you to uh, visit it if you can, if you're a National Trust member or you're this part of Dorset. Put Hoyle Bockenhurst, Bockenhurst, Bockenhurst. Is where it is. I do uh, encourage you do to book. Uh, <laughs> yes, do book so if you want the tour. But they were very kind, they did get squeezed. Yeah, they, we did get squeezed there. onto the tour. So we're going to head back to the visitor centre now. Uh, we need the toilet. Not that you wanted to know that. And maybe we should um, treat ourselves to a cup of tea and cake. We did carrot cake. We did carrot cake. So that's our plan. Anyway, guys. That's it for this uh, little photo trip to Thomas Hardy's cottage. I hope you enjoyed it. We certainly enjoy being here. So uh, we will catch you on the next one, wherever that may be. So until then, bye bye for now. <laughs>